Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we are going to solve few numericals based on B arc that is Bachelor of Architecture. So let us begin with our first sum. So here we have directions for our numericals which is one, which one of the following answers is the correct mirror image of the problem figure with respect to x x. So we need to find the correct mirror image of the given figure. So in question 1 we have been given a triangle with few straight lines in between and we need to find which one of these four are is the correct mirror image of the question. So first let us eliminate the wrong options. So here you can see for mirror image if we consider this corner. So the left corner of the base. So the left corner of the base will come in the right corner of the base when we take the mirror image so it should come here and you can see we have only one line coming out of this point out of from this point we have only one line which is this line so one line coming out of from the left side of the base which means one line should go from the right base of the triangle so one line so here we have one line and here you can see we have two lines coming out of from the right side here also we have two lines and here we have one line since two lines are coming out of these two options then these two options are not correct because one extra line is coming out of one corner here also and here also so these two are not the perfect mirror image of the question so option b and c are already eliminated now we are left with option a and option d so let's check what is the difference between option a and option b option d so here you can see we have only one straight line coming out of the base of the triangle here we have the base of the triangle and this is the only line coming out of the base of the triangle you can see here we have this one is the base and this is the only line coming out of the base and here you can see we have the base and here we have two lines coming out of the base this is the one line and this is the second line since there are two lines and there is only one line in A so let's check in our question how many lines are coming out of the base so this is the base and here you can see we have one line coming out of base and we do not have any other line coming out of base so there is only one line coming out of base so option a is the correct option which says the exact mirror image of the given equation uh, given figure so you can now match the uh, lines here we have this line is coming this way here we have on this way and this is going towards right this is going toward left this is going towards right and here we are going towards left and the other lines are also exactly mirror image. So the correct answer to this question is option number A. So this is the convenient method by eliminating the wrong method, uh, eliminating the wrong option and getting the correct answer. So let's move on to the next question which is on the same direction. So here you can see we have a Z type of structure in between a square with straight lines so in options you can see we have opposite z which is s in all the four options so the z won't help us in finding the mirror image so we need to consider the straight lines so here you can see in the right corner here in the right corner you can see we have a thin line a first one is a thin line and the second one is a relatively thicker line so you can see first is a thin line second one is a thick line so since it is at the right corner then we need to check uh, the left corners because we need to find the mirror image so in the first one we have a thin and a thick line okay so let us not consider this side because you may see here also we have thin and again a thick then thin then a thick and thin and a thick so this corner won't help us so let's consider the left side left side of here so here also you can see we have a very thin first line then we have a thick line in the second so since we have considered the left side we need to consider the right side of this because we need to find the mirror image so in the right side of option a option you can see we have a thin line then a thick line so option a can be a possible answer in option b you can see we have a thin line and again we have a thin line so option b is not cannot be a correct answer in option c you can see we have a thin and a thick then in option d again we have a thin line and a thick line so this 
property helped us for eliminating one option that is option B. Now you can see that below this below part here you can see the below part of this. So when this part is touching this line. So let me draw it here. When this part is touching this line we have already crossed two lines. So we have only two lines crossed when this part is touching the base of the square. This is the first line uh, first this is the second line and then as soon as the second line is uh, completing this point is touching the base of the square. So since we have considered this to be from the right corner so we will consider options from the left corner. So in left corner you can see in A we have one line two line three lines and since and four line also and after four line there is the touching point of this point. So option A is not the correct option. In option C you can see we have 1 and 2 and in option D also you can see we have 1 and 2. So these two can be the possible answers. So we have got two options out of four options. So A and B got cancelled out. We are left with C and D. So in C and D you can check that here we have a thin line in between and here we have no thin line in between between these two thick lines. Let me show it again. Here we have one thick line. This one is one thick line and this one is another uh, thick line and you can see we have a thin line in between them. But in here you can see we have one thick line and another thick line but we have no thin line in between. So in upward figure let's check. Here we have a thick line. Again we have a thick line and we can see a thin line in between. So this says that option D is a wrong option, hence option C will be a correct option. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 3. So again we have a triangular figure. In this figure let's use the same method. Same we will consider the corner and we will count the number of lines coming out of that corner. So this corner left corner of the base you can see we have two lines coming out of this is the first line this is the second line so two lines are coming out of from the left corner uh, left base so in options we need to consider the right base and check how many lines are coming out of the right bases of the figures so in a you can see we have two lines yeah so in a we have one and two so a can be a possible answer in b also we have two here one and the other one is here two in c also two here is 1 and here is 2. So this can be a possible answer but D you can see we have only one line. So D cannot be a answer. So we have got one wrong answer. Now let's check some other properties. So again in the same part only we can see that from this point from this point you can see one line is reaching the other side. This is the side of the triangle and this line is touching the side of the triangle and the other line coming out of the same point. This line is also touching the same side of the triangle. So both the lines are touching the same side. But as I saw in option C, only one line is touching the opposite side and the other line is touching some other line in between. So option C cannot be the correct answer because both the lines are not touching the opposite side of the triangle. So option C will be a wrong answer. Now in option A and option B, let's check what is the difference between A and B. There is a very minute change in option A and B. You can see this portion of A and this portion of B. You may see a small line here. Let me draw a small line here. You may see a small line like this one, but there is no line like here. And you can see here we have no extra lines here. You can see in option B. The small line is visible here between this cross here there is one small line but we have no small line such like this. So B is not the correct answer hence option A remains the correct answer to this question. So option A is the exact mirror image of this problem figure. So we have completed few questions based on mirror images. So I will like to end this video here. You will find some more sums based on bachelor of architecture in our further video.